Two remake, and yeah, we've me and my friend the Gold Scarab, who happens to be with me right now. Okay, uh, he's a bit busy at the moment. Um, we just sorted out sorting all the other videos out, so don't worry, there'll be plenty more where this comes from. Uh, with the Leon story, and then once we've completed Leon's story, I'm then going to bring it on to Claire Redfield's story. And yeah, without further ado, let's go back to Leon. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Sorry, I, don't, I know that voice is going to sound really creepy to a lot of people when I do it, so I am sorry about that. Um, if you're wondering why, yes, I have started on Claire Redfield's uh, second run... Only that's not going to be part of the series. That's going to be a separate series on its own. So I'll be doing the, the uh, second run for both Claire and Chris at uh, Leon. A separate series for that. But that will be season three. So stay tuned in for that. Um, but now we will return to season one with Leon. Now from when I left off with the last of the game. I'd gotten really far with it. But... Um, I'd played a lot more of the game off camera, so still no spoilers for any of you. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm basically now about six and a half minutes away from facing uh, Mr. X. And I will be honest with you, he is proper terrifying. I'm not kidding, people. He's proper terrifying. So when we left off, we were in the underground area from when I um, had only the second got to his so yeah um, but yeah you can tell I've got just a short amount of ammo no extra shotgun shells which really I kind of need I haven't got an awful lot of medical stuff so I'm gonna take an extra one of those I don't have the magnum yet so that's kind of something I'm gonna have to work on getting soon so, yeah, but I know where most of the stuff is now, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge again. I have played against the boss I'm about to face on uh, the game without having to like record it, but I got a system where I work with it, and I know what I'm going to be expecting from this area. So, uh, no spoilers, and let's just crack in with the game. Also, if you've missed any of my other Resident Evil 2 remake playthroughs, uh, check them out in the, in the uh, playlist description. There will be a chance for you to all to see uh, more of this video. Um, but if you, any of you do want to see more and more and more of Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, please destroy the uh, like button. Uh, as I've always said, if you are still new to this channel, um, sorry. Uh, please remember to subscribe as well if you are new, but leave a comment as well if you are watching this video now And let's get this so here we go. Yeah. This is this is where the real problems about to kick in so So we go in carefully. surprise Oh shit my, my language with that one folks, sorry. Oh dear god Um, the guy who's pushing, bench, bench pressing me into the floor. This is Doc, this is G, but his real name was Dr. William Burke. Um, so he's going to be very difficult. Okay, uh, I need to take out the shotgun for this one. Oh, come on. Ow, I just, I just took a face full of, um pipe to the face. Sorry, I couldn't think of an original uh, catch uh, pun for that one. Don't need the bullets! Fire in the hole! And also, fire in the hole number two. Okay, I need to find some shotgun ammo. I am not going to survive on just pistol ammo. Fire in the hole! Okay, that was my last shotgun round. I'm now in very deep trouble. 
He's now going on a murderous rampage. I need to definitely make every shot count. I have nearly a hundred. Whoa! Hi there. How are you? Oh no 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 no! Come on, give me that eye. No choice. Gotta take it down. Oh, you don't think I've been true? of him. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> and last time I did this off camera, I did it with a shotgun. Um, bye! Have a great fall! Oh, dear goodness. Okay, someone is definitely watching me, which I know who it is. Don't Someone's worry. I'm not going to spoil. I know who's watching me, but I'm not going to spoil it for any of you because I know you lot want to be surprised as much as I do. So, yeah. Uh, no spoilers. Okay. Grab the herbs. Okay, I need to grab one more. I need one more herb, and that's located on the other side of that ladder. So if I go here, yep, this is the correct path. Go this way, go this way, and there it is. Uh, why did I put you there? Right, now I'm going to combine these two herbs. Um, I don't want to analyze it. Okay, I'm going to use you. Okay, I can't use you just yet. Okay. Um, just to also note... These videos will only be doing going for about 30 minutes a day, so I will be kind of having to check my video footage a lot. Lot times. Sorry about that, folks. So yeah, um, yeah these these vid these videos will only be about 30 minutes long. And I know sometimes what to expect from some of these. Uh, so we'll go to the locker in here. And we find another herb. I did not, I did not want to press myself. And then we've got more gunpowder. So... There's another locker. How convenient. Unfortunately, I can't access them because they're completely locked off. Uh, so we will now just get the hell out of this area. Now, one thing I have noticed with this game is Mr. X, whenever you hear him, he's just, he's going to seriously terrify you half to death. He's quiet, but he's very terrifying. Um, but, in all fairness, he doesn't even come close to Nemesis. And could you imagine this Resident Evil 3 being remade, and you just see Nemesis pop up out of nowhere? He'd be like, hello, I'm here for sugar. And I'll be just like, um, goodbye, I've gone the other way. It'd be ridiculous. Nemesis is more terrifying than Mr. X any day of the week. Imagine... Mr. X as he is with all the buff, and you imagine that with Nemesis. He's 30 times more scary than Mr. X any day of the week because, my God, he has got some buff to his arms and his bones. Oh, yeah, no no spoilers. I'm not skipping the uh, cutscenes, so i got to be careful with this sort of thing. Okay, so from na from where I am... I am already aware that I'm in the parking lot garage underneath 
the Raccoon City Police Department, so I know pretty much where I am with my bearings. And I know for a fact this is where the real problem's gonna kick in. Damn. Oh god, here it comes. The Hounds of Hell. And yes, I did just call them a Hound of Hell. They're very annoying. And they're very hard to kill. Get off me, Hellhound. Someone shoot this thing. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Stay sharp. I am also now going to sit down because whoa! Sorry, me nearly fell off my chair. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. She's not even wearing the trench coat this time. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. That woman, she's all. That was Ada Wong, by the way. Hey, but, what, but when I'm I, not done talking to you. But when I watched Rad Brad's playthrough on the game, she had a trench coat and she had a coat and she also had like shade, sunshades on. So how the hell she's not got that in this version of my of the game that I'm playing? That's completely confused me. But. It's nothing to be surprised about. Oh my. Don't even think about it, buddy boy. Just stay down. Stay down. Really, really I just I just broke my own my one knife. I just broke the only knife I had. For goodness sake, people. Well, I know what you assholes want, but you ain't getting me. So go to hell. And you. And you. Oh. You. Oh, shut up. No, I'm talking to the zombies. You'd be surprised how annoying they are. And you. Thank you. Okay, next cutscene. Now, oh. this is the one I'm not going to spoil too hey. much. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Here he is. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock his cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. <laughs> Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here! Him? 
He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Hmm. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Ada Wong. Well, I guess the deal's on. <laughs> okay, so from just looking in that area, that was Mr. X's giant ass hand that you saw grab and crush Ben's head. Not that I don't think he didn't deserve it, but he did. A lot of you will probably say, but he didn't deserve that. I'm like, actually, in all fairness, he did deserve it. Want to know the reason? He's a dirty news reporter who will pay top, who will sell any top information to the highest bidder, and he'll basically sell the stories. Just so he can prove one thing, he's a, he's the best. Sorry, no you're not, mate. So, enjoy yourself in the afterlife. You're gonna be there forever. <clears throat> I know a lot of you are probably thinking that's pretty heartless of me, but I'm sorry, but it's the truth. The man does not have respect for people's wishes. Oh, I remember this area. Okay, so this was the shooting range. So I know what to expect in this area. Okay, so there's the box I need. And there's a reason I had to get this box. Because as soon as I open it, which I'm just about to do, I get the uh, key uh, from... But because I'm too far away, I can't use it straight away. Uh, let's check this raccoon magazine. Okay, so any info I find on this game is easy to work well. For God's sake, I know what this is like. Now what? You can stay there as well. Because the G virus could reanimate these guys a bit quicker than normal, I can't waste all my bullets, so I've got to kind of conserve them. So let's grab the. Oh, finally! Exactly what I wanted. I'm not worried about using this shotgun. But yeah, should not be wasting my ammo like I just did. Okay. That way I know is going to lead back to the precinct, so that's a bit of a spoiler for any of you who wish to play this game uh, from the beginning. The one thing I hoped I was not going to hear would be the animals. Out of that area, there is gonna be a dog, a zombie dog, the hellhound. Okay, here's one of the shortcut areas I know about. So, if I use this now, I do know most of what this game's like on PlayStation 4, but I never could understand it in PlayStation 1 because. It was such a confusing game. Okay, so I know what that is. Okay, here's one of the boxes I need. So, let us examine, like I do off camera normally, to understand this game easier. Okay, put you here for now. Okay, go around. I should be able to re-jump-start all the power systems. 
in this game. I know I heard that. Okay, so this should be easy to remember for me. So I do one, nope, one, two, uh, yeah, one, two, no, no, come on, no, for goodness sake, game. Alright, one, two. There we go. Okay, now I've got power restored to the entire area. Now this is where the real fun is. I know this looks cruel that I'm shooting these creatures, but I am sorry, but this is how the game has to be played. These things will eat you alive. So it's either you, two, you offer yourself two choices. You either kill or you be killed in this game. Okay. Alright, there we Did I just um, already combine that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh. He's coming my way. Where'd you come from? I am a guy. Okay. I'm gonna get this done and get the hell out of here. I know he's gonna get up anyway, so I'm not worried. There's the key I need. Okay, we're going. We're done with this area. Now this part did make me jump. You have to be prepared for almost everything in this game. Or else you're going to wind up dead on this game. So we'll combine those. Now we have more shotgun shells again. So quickly render them in. Okay, we've got them. Now let's get out of here. I'll head back to the precinct area in about 10 minutes. But I've only I've only got five minutes left of this chat uh, this video, so yeah, don't be surprised if I end it soon. Son of a bitch. Oh, you whittle! Oh, for goodness' sake! I am a Donna. Thank you. No problem. These animals are very annoying, and I'm nowhere near ready for a bit. Now I am. Oh, shit! <laughs> I love how one just tries to jump in the air like Scooby-Doo. It's just like, I'll take the bullet. 
No, you won't. You just took it and you died. Okay, so quick examine before, obviously, before I've got to end the video soon. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this key. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this key. So I don't need that anymore. And now I get basically one of the combo pieces. Uh, so I better move my shotgun here now. And then combine this with my pistol and now I have a fully customized pistol which takes up way too much of my uh, inventory space one of the other parts about this game is you've got to be very careful hang on a second with, our, with how this game is played and how easy you think it is I am sorry to tell you this people there is a di there are difficulty settings to this game but it's not as easy as it looks. It is a fucking hard, terrible game. It is a very hard, not terrible, rephrase that last sentence. It is a hard game, and it's hardcore. Okay, so now we're back in familiar waters. So we now, sorry, that is a reference to Rad Brad, so apologies if uh, I feel like I'm, if you think I'm copying him with that one, so, but yeah. We're back where we are. We're back at the precinct, so we are in familiar areas. That we know and eat. So let's see. Gunpowder. What do you have? Pistol ammo. Uh, ammo? Ammo. That helps. Um, a fuse can be even more helpful. I just... No. I okay. We're going to save this now. I officially have two minutes left before this video has to end um, so I will be probably ending this video now anyway so uh, fa thank you for watching please remember to subscribe if you're new leave a like leave a comment if you've been a member with this channel for so long please remember to just drop the likes on these videos drop the comments if you want and yeah I'll see you all in episode 6. Until then, folks, bye.